Hey guys, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a collective sit-down thrift haul where I share all of my recent finds from thrift stores and I also have some um, lots from online estate sales. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on into the haul. There's a boy just below the camera here. I'll just pause. Oh yeah. <laughs> my mom is crazy and she loves to thrift. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the thrift store finds, starting with this beautiful quilt behind me here. This, um, I'll try to insert a clip of all the details because it is a full or queen. I haven't washed it or anything yet, I just set it on this chair here, but I think it is so pretty. I thought about reselling it when I purchased it, but I'm just gonna clean it up and keep it if it does fit on my bed because I really think it is so pretty. It has these like beautiful, um, kind of like diamond shaped cuts on the edge and there's patchwork all over it. It's just gorgeous. Oh, the tag actually says full right here so it may or may not fit my bed. I do have a few of these that I keep on hand for people that stay the night um, and they've come in handy so I may just keep it. But I think this was $9.99 like I said at Goodwill and I just think it is such an amazing find. I am so happy I cannot believe nobody snagged it before me. And then I actually have another like blanket right here. How much was this? $3.99. So I think it's probably a twin. Yeah, this is for a twin bed and I did get this one to resell. I'm thinking it's handmade. It definitely looks handmade to me, but I just thought the fabric and the colors were so pretty. It's like a really dainty sort of springy floral pattern. And I think it's so pretty. It has this light um, yellow, like pastel yellow on the edge. Yeah, it's a twin. $3.99 I think is a really good price. So I'm going to see how this does on my eBay shop, which is linked down below. And then I got this cute, I guess, cutting board from Goodwill. It, it didn't have a price tag on it, and she gave it to me for $0.99. Cents. It is very pre-loved, as you can see with all the cut marks here. But I don't know, I just like it for a riser or just to kind of like ground decor because I don't like just setting things on flat surfaces. I need them to have some sort of like situation going on underneath them. So that's probably what I'll do with this piece. It has these like tiny little squishy, they're not squishy, <laughs> these tiny little feet on the bottom that help raise it up. So 99 cents, not a bad price for that. And then I got this at the same time as the little cutting board, and also it did not have a price. I believe it was $1.99, maybe $2.99, but I think $1.99 is this little cheese crock. And they had this taped down. I don't collect cheese crocks. This is especially darker than I would want anyways. So I was like, oh, I mean, it's only $2. I can just do like a fast flip on it on eBay. But like I said, they had this lid taped down. And when I got it home, you'll have to let me know. I don't know if this is broken. Is it supposed to go on here tighter? Cause it's obviously like this, or do I just have it wrong to close it? It just slides around and it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't stay on. So I'll have to look into that and see if it is actually broken because if it is, I will just have to keep it, but that's okay. And then I got all this stuff at one trip. I found this Be Merry pillow. And while I'm pretty over Christmas, I just thought um, I would be happy that I purchased it when Christmas rolls around. And it was only, I think, $1.99. Yeah, $1.99. That's not a bad price. I think it's from Walmart, actually. Yeah, mainstays. So it says, be merry on this side. And then it's got, like, ticking stripe on this side, which I like this. I would probably use it facing this way. So yeah, just a cute little lumbar pillow for $2, which is not bad at all. So I grabbed this one because I thought I would paint this white and it would be a nice base for a DIY sign. And then they have like this little thing here for hanging it, but I don't know what this means. I'm not even gonna try to say it. If you know Spanish, I think that's what it is. Let me know down below what this says. But it was originally $1.99 and I think I was there on a Friday and I thought it was 50% off, but Friday is still 25% off. So I ended up paying $1.49 for this, which is silly because it's just a DIY project, but it is what it is. And then I got this adorable little wooden birdhouse for 79 cents. I just thought this would be cute in spring or summer decor in like a vignette somehow. I'm not really a fan of this rope, so I may try to remove that. Um, yeah, I just liked that it was wood and it was only 79 cents, so I don't think that's a bad price. Is it focusing? So, cute little birdhouse. 
and another cute little thing here is this kind of like brass slash copper. It's not copper, but it's not real brass. Um, watering can. This was 59 cents, I think. Yeah, 59 cents. And I don't know, I just thought it would be cute on a tiered tray. Or once again, in a little display. I got this piece to put in my eBay shop. It is a blue and white candlestick holder. It was 79 cents and it's by Delts Blue. I looked this up on eBay and with it only being 79 cents, I could make a small profit on it. So I thought, why not? There's no chips or cracks or anything like that. It's actually really pretty. I love the look of this sort of blue and white pottery mixed with hot pink roses. That's not something I decorate with, but when I do see that, I think it's beautiful. So, I don't know why I'm telling you that, but anyways. And then I found this in the box, um, silver brush and mirror set. I have one of these already, minus the comb. I just have these two pieces. This was $12.99, um, but I think I'm going to put it on my eBay shop because it's still in the box. They had it taped up, so I wasn't able to see that. It does have... The mirror at least does have some kind of like I don't know what it's even called it's like a bluish tarnished spot right here so I'll have to get some silver wipes and see if I can clean that up it's by the brand International Silver Company and it's not too old because it does have a barcode oh it says 1991 that's when I was born so cute Worst comes to worst, I'll just keep it. Whatever. Okay, and then I thought this was super beautiful. It's not something that I would necessarily use. So a lot of this stuff that I'm showing today will be on my eBay because I do do that part-time, so it is what it is. But this is unmarked, but it kind of reminded me of Ironstone in a way that it has, like, light crazing. I'm not sure if you're able to see because the tape is sort of covering it up, but there are a few spots that have some crazing. Like right there. And I paid $2.99 for this. And then it has this really beautiful floral print right here. And it has the lid intact. So I thought that was good. There are no chips that I see. So yeah, I'm just going to pop it on my eBay shop. If you are familiar with this pattern and you know the maker, please let me know down below. Because I need all the info I can get in order to resell it. I did try looking into it the day that I brought it home. And I couldn't find anything similar to this pattern. So, yeah, let me know down below if you have any info. Okay, and then the last thing I got that day was this beautiful... I'm keeping this for myself. I love it so much. It is one of the, like, little hand... I'm assuming these were ashtrays, or I don't know, maybe just one this pretty would be a trinket dish. And you know what's funny? This is so stupid, but my hands fit perfectly in there. Look! Anyways, it's this beautiful, almost like jadeite green color. Obviously, it's not glass, but it's just what it reminds me of, and I love jadeite. It is stamped Japan on the back here, and I paid $1.99 for it, and I am just in love with it. It has these, like, pretty flowers up at the top. So I'm going to probably put this here in our master bedroom somewhere. I'm going for a more romantic feel in here, and I think this would be so pretty, even in a bathroom. Okay, um, let's see if there's any more Goodwill things. This is from Goodwill. If you've been watching my channel recently, you'll know that I'm obsessed with oil paintings. Lincoln is growling in the background because I have the window open, so I apologize if you hear background noise. Anyways, it's this really beautiful, like, vertical oil painting. I love nature and landscape artwork, so... Um, I thought it was really pretty. I'm not too much of a fan of the gold frame, so I wish I could get it reframed. I mean, I could. Maybe I could just build a frame myself, because I'd prefer it to be wood or even painted white, so we'll see what I do with that. It was $4.99. I don't even know what season this would look good in. Maybe summer to fall? It's not springy. It's giving me, like, August vibes, so maybe that is when I'll do it. Alright, moving on to thrift stores that are not Goodwill. I got some of these, um, it says pant and skirt solid wood hangers, they were $2, and let me just open it, I am probably going to use these to, um, I don't even know how to work these, how does this work, okay, I don't even know how to open this, but I'm going to probably use this to display, like, prints, there was two of them, so a dollar a piece, and, uh, yeah, I liked that they were wood, so, and this one even has some distressing, so that's a plus, um, yeah, we'll see if I'll end up using those. And then I just got this little basket. I don't even know who this is by. Signed on the bottom. It was $2, but I got it for storage purposes um, inside a cabinet or even the kitchen somewhere because 
Lord knows we could use some organization around here. And the fact that it has red, which I don't decorate with red unless it's like Christmas, so yeah. Definitely this will be for storage, but I like that it had a solid wood bottom and then these really sturdy like leather handles. So the $2 seems like a really good price for this basket because it's really good quality. Okay, these next two items were from the same store and everything was 50% off. So I found this adorable tiny mini creamer. It is so cute. It was originally $2, so I paid one for it, and it's not marked. It reminds me of a Homer Laughlin creamer that I have, which is just slightly bigger, but it's shaped the exact same way. So this is just going to be cute to pair with my other creamers or use on a tiered tray. And it's really heavy and like solid, like a restaurant wear piece. And then the other piece I got from that thrift store that was 50% off was this cookie press. It was originally $10, so I paid $5 for it, which... I really wanted it, so it's fine. It's in really good condition. I did not originally think this was vintage at all, but then I went to the antique mall shortly after I purchased this and saw these everywhere, so I mean, that doesn't mean anything. It could very well be modern, and they just throw it in there, but it has this adorable bunny on the bottom for where you like press into the cookie. But I just think it's like a primitive looking piece, so I'll probably put this in the kitchen, duh. And I love this color of wood. So, you'll have to let me know, do you think $5 was a good price for this? Okay, moving on to another set of items. I went to a thrift store, it was like the middle of the day, around, I don't know, 2, 3 o'clock. And um, I normally like to do my thrifting early, earlier in the day, just because I feel like everything would be gone later. But something was telling me to go. I was like, I need to get up right now and go to the thrift store. I have a feeling I'm going to find something good. And I was like, God, if it's meant to be, I pray I find something good that I've been wanting. And I found... A piece of ironstone. Um, it is by Meek and Bros and Co. There's the little stamp right there and it was only two dollars. It is missing the lid but that's perfectly fine. I could use it um, like a crock or to put a kind of hanging plant in which is what or how I see it. I'm not sure what this specific piece is called so as always let me know down below. You guys are constantly giving me information that I need. So this one has more of like a gray tint to it compared to the other ironstone pieces that I have. I was so happy to find this for two dollars and that alone made the trip worth it and the handles are very pretty too. So yeah that's the first thing I found that day and then I saw these two plates. I actually went back yesterday and there was a third one um, for a dollar less but I left it behind because what do I need three for? They are marked USA on the bottom. It's like engraved and if I'm correct, I remember learning that USA, like this, means that it's possibly California pottery. Um, but who knows, you know, tons of things are obviously made in USA. But they were $3 a piece, and they just have this really pretty, like, detail around the edge. And I really liked the shape. They're not very big. So I don't even know what I'm going to do with these. Um, they're very lightweight, too, like a thin, light ceramic or porcelain. I don't know if I did this when I got them home or if they already had them, but they both have chips kind of in the exact same spot here and then here. So I'm not sure if I would have purchased them had I noticed that, which makes me think that I did it when I got home because it can be a little rough. I just kind of throw things in the back of my car. And then the last thing I got from that day was a cute little spoon. It reminds me of a seashell and it was only 10 cents, so why not, you know? I wish it was more tarnished. You know, shiny is not really my thing, but um, I, I decided I want to start collecting, like, little interesting silverware with, like, cute details. Whatever. And moving on to another thrift store, I found a cool little cigar box. I don't own any cigar boxes, and it's not, like, something I'm ever drawn to, but I like that this one was, like, a wood, obviously it's wood, a wood box, and it closes here. And I just thought, I love to style things inside of boxes like this. So, um, this would be a good thing to do that for. <laughs> and then it has the label here as well, so there's like something interesting to look at if I leave it open. It was $1.98, and I just really liked it. It says something I'm not going to try to pronounce. <laughs> but it was made in... Where were you made in? Spanish Honduras. That's cool. Anyways, I just really liked all the little details, and I thought it was cute. And then what else did I get that day? Oh, this is so cool. Um, I got this with the intention to resell it. There are a few There are a few on eBay. This is a 
bell. <laughs> I'm sure you can tell. And I love the little dinger thing here. It's like a little music note. So anyways, I was gonna purchase this just for resale, but I'm thinking if the next house we're in, whether we own it or rent it, um, I want this on my patio, so I may hold on to it because I just think it's so cool. And then of course I'm in Texas, so the horseshoe is fitting. Huh, it spins. And then I also found some more brass candlesticks. I do have three of these already. Um, so they had a ton of them, so I only picked out three. And I tried my best to eyeball um, the heights that I thought I already had here so it could be kind of like even but I don't think I did it right. Anyways, they were $1.98 a piece, which is another reason why I only got three of them because I didn't want to keep paying $2 a piece for them, but they're just your standard like um, brass candlestick. I prefer the ones like this where they're like skinny and they flare up like that. I use the three I do have in my decor constantly, so this is definitely a good find for me. And then I spotted this piece up high on a shelf. It is a soup tureen. It is missing the ladle. I did go around and try to search if they had it like separate somewhere and I didn't find it, so that sucks, but um, I think I'm going to put this on my eBay because I have no room for this. As much as I love it, I just have no room. On the bottom it says 66365 USA. It looks like ironstone, but I don't believe that it is. But it's a really beautiful piece. I love the handles, and then the lid is really pretty to me as well. And then of course I love that it's like raised right here. It was originally, I think $7.99, and she only charged me $3.99 for it. So that makes it even better for me with reselling it. But I thought that was a really fun thing to find. And the last thing from that thrift store was this um, platter here. It's by Johnson Brothers, it says made in England, and it was $2.98. And while they don't go together, they do look nice together, I guess. Just like this. I don't know. This one has like tiny little hobnail details around the edge. And it, it looks like a heritage pattern. I haven't decided if I'm going to resell this one or keep it. I don't have enough space here in this house. The kitchen is really small and we don't even have a pantry. I have to use some of our cabinets for food. Um, so that kind of takes away from the storage space and all the things that I want to hoard. Okay, moving on to the next thrift store. I think the rest of this stuff is all from the same thrift store, just different times. I found this cute basket. I actually have uh, thrifted this before in white. It's the same exact basket, and I never used it in my decor. I use it for, like, storing things. But it was only a dollar, so I may put this in my Easter decor to hold some eggs. It has these cool little, like, spring things on the handle and the chicken wire. I don't know, just a cute little basket for a dollar. Can't beat that. And then I purchased these probably to use. They look newer so um i might just use them for cooking here they were only a dollar for all three of them or i'll just stick them in my crock but they're just different size wood spoons as you can tell and then i got one of these vintage hand like push choppers it was only a dollar fifty and it was in really good shape or it is in really good condition like the this part looks super clean even the glass is super clean so i don't know if it was ever actually used but um while I was planning on putting this in my eBay shop, the other day I was cooking or chopping up things and I was like, I really wish I had that chopper so I might keep it here and it may come in handy for me in the kitchen for when I cook like once a year, you know? Oh, I found some pretty candles here. There's just one of these kind of like dusty dark blue taper candles. It was 25 cents. And then I found these two beeswax candles in the similar like dusty blue color. They were... A dollar for both and they're unused and I just think they're cute I've mentioned before that I want to build like a little collection of different colored ta taper candles for the seasons so I really love light blue it's one of my favorite colors well, this isn't light blue but you know what I mean pastel dusty blue that's like one of my favorite colors so um, yeah I couldn't leave those behind okay this piece I am in love with and it's so random because I'm not even sure why I like it so much but is this metal bunny or rabbit super heavy like almost I feel like it's cast iron because it's so heavy it was only four dollars and this is exactly the kind of like vibe or look that I want to go for for spring this season sort of like a muted neutral um toned down like rustic spring look I don't know but I think he's really cool he kind of has like a 
white wax finish around all his details and like the curves and stuff. Maybe it was a door stopper because this thing is so heavy. But I just think he's cool. I got a vintage book for $2. Now the cover is completely coming off. I think it's gotten worse since I have brought it home. So that sucks. But it's okay. It says Tammy Out of Time by Sumner. There's a pretty picture on the inside. It's a shame that the cover is fallen off because I do think it's really pretty. And it just has that like romantic kind of vintage vibe that I love. So I found this adorable little tiny mirror. It was only 50 cents and I loved the metal like design around it. I just thought it was really pretty and I think I'm going to hang it on a small space somewhere in this room in the bedroom. Um, just to like fill up or maybe do like a gallery wall. I think it'd be so fun to do a gallery wall with different mirrors of sizes like this with interesting little like details and stuff. Um, it says Italy on the back. Yeah, I thought it was really pretty. 50 cents, can't beat that. This last piece from that thrift store I love so much. I was actually leaving the store and I saw this out of the corner of my eye and I said, excuse me, what? This is so cute, I can't believe Nobody found it because they were about to close. It is a vintage, I think the brand was Leviton. Yeah, Leviton, I hope I'm saying that right. But it came with a light bulb too, like double score. I just think it is so gorgeous and $4. So I think I'm gonna resell it because I don't need any more lamps around here. Um, I'm doing more of a milk glass hobnail thing in here, but it is so pretty. Let me just unravel it so you can see it. I love the bottom here with this like, kind of like bubbled design, if you can see. And then all the metal pieces are like rusty and I just love it so much. And to be honest, I didn't think that this was the original shade just because this piece right here makes me feel like the shade was supposed to be like a um, chimney style globe or whatever, but I could be wrong because this matches so good right here, so. I tried to look it up online and I couldn't find this exact one. I just found similar ones by the same brand. Um, but yeah, it does work. And I'm going to be listing this on my eBay. Even though I love it so much, I don't want to give it away. Okay, we're almost done. I feel like I've been talking forever. The last two lot of items are from online estate sales. Alright, so the first one, actually the prices were not getting up very high. Normally the ones that I go to, stuff gets up pretty high. And I don't end up actually purchasing the stuff that I was hoping for. But this one, I had my eye on one thing that I was waiting to close out. And I decided to look at the catalog one last time. So things were closing out in like a matter of minutes. And I saw a lot of stuff not being bid on at all. And the starting bid for this one was $1, which is pretty weird. It's normally higher. So I saw this thing. And it was at $0. So I bid a dollar, And I ended up winning it. So I'm 100% going to be reselling this on eBay because... Um, it's just not going to fit my decor here, but it is a converted oil lamp lamp, and it does work. Once again, came with a light bulb. It has the chimney as well. Super amazing find. It says the Gladstone. I'm not sure if that's going to pick up on camera, but just look at all the details. I think it is so beautiful. Here is how you turn it on. I don't, I don't know what this is. I guess that just holds it together. I guess this is where the wick was originally. It is just incredible. Um, I guess this, I don't know what these pieces are to put a different kind of globe on it maybe. But can you believe I paid $1 for this? Like, I don't know why nobody was bidding on it. I mean, I'm glad they weren't, but yes, I'm gonna be listing this on eBay. When I looked it up, I think they were going from 25 to like 35, um, maybe a little more. I don't, I don't remember. Anyways, super amazing find for $1. And then the next item that was at zero, I went ahead and bid a dollar on and I won it. It is this vintage book that says Hurlbut's Story of the Bible for Young and Old. And it just goes in and shows you or teaches you, like I think the short version of stories in the Bible. It's in really good condition for it being an older book. It does say entered according to Act of Congress in the year of 1904. But I'm not sure if that means this is from 1904 or what. It has like this really cool lime green on here too. I just think it's cool. I may or may not keep it. I haven't decided yet. But it's nice and heavy too. Okay, then the next thing I bid on, I 100% um, thought that I would be outbid. I didn't even keep up with it. I just clicked bid. I think it, the bid was at $10, so I bid 11 And then I ended up winning it, which is insane because these go for a lot of money, especially ones this size. 
It is a wooden dough bowl. Well, they had it listed as vintage fruit bowl, so that could be what it was used for, what it is for. But it looks like a dough bowl to me. And as you can see, it's pretty large and it has these cool handles right here. So um, $11 for this is actually a really good price because the reason I don't have one is because they are so pricey, especially at antique malls, um, even like Hobby Lobby. One of this size would be, I think, pretty expensive. So I just got really lucky and I only paid $11 for it and I just think it is super cool. So I'm super excited to start styling this in my decor. And then the last item from that auction, uh, this is the only item that I had intended on bidding on, and I love it so much. It came with two pieces, the platter and then the little creamer, and let's see, who is it by? It says, uh, Oxford Semi Porcelain Henry Alcock. I'm not sure if that is showing up on camera. This actually reminds me of Miranda Christine, that's her channel name here on YouTube. Um, she hauled something similar, I think it was a creamer. Um, a while back in some of her videos and I even commented saying I need that to be mine like I love the pattern so much I don't think it's the same one but um, I have to give her credit for sparking my interest in that because it was so beautiful so when I saw this I was like that is so pretty I need it so this is the creamer and I have had such a hard time finding this pattern even with putting all the info in from this maker I cannot find this exact pattern anywhere. I've come across ones that look very similar, but not this exact one as far as I'm concerned. So if you know where I can find this, please let me know because I really want to get um, maybe like a gravy boat or creamer, whichever was intended to go with it, so that I have like a set to put on here. Because right now, this just looks kind of silly, I don't know. But the platter is huge, and I just, I love light blue, as I mentioned earlier. It's one of my favorite colors. And I just love this floral pattern. It is such a nice, heavy platter. There is a chip somewhere right here. But that's not bad at all. I didn't know about that, but I still would have bid on it. And I'm just so in love. I don't even know how I'm going to style this because it doesn't even really match with any of my like farmhouse rustic decor. But I'm going to try to make it work somehow. And I paid $5 for the set. So that alone is an amazing price. And I'm just in love. I think it is so beautiful. And I really hope I can find a third piece for it. Let me show you the details again. The handles are really beautiful. There's actually no chips or any damage on this piece, which is really good. Oh my gosh, we're almost done, I swear. Okay, I have one more lot of items from an online auction. There's actually 10 pieces. Um, but I'll go really fast. I don't even want to say the complete price that I paid for everything because I was interested in one item and I mean the price alone for that one item is worth it, but I'll just put it this way. I have 10 items and they each come up to be $3.75 a piece. So that's just what I keep telling myself. Like I only paid $3.75 a piece for these things. So I'm going to start with the stuff that I'm least interested in up to like the best one. The first piece is just a little serving dish by Corningware. I'm just gonna throw this in the cabinet and use it for a serving dish. Not really interested in this. Then the next one is this Jimungus, um, kind of like decorative platter. It says Erfila, made in Czechoslovakia. Here is the marking. And then it has these beautiful kind of like raised flowers on there. I do plan to resell this one. I'm just not interested in it but it is really beautiful. And then it included this Wedgwood sort of like vase planter, which I actually really like this a lot. It says Turia and Barlston Wedgwood. Someone clearly used this for a planter and I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do, whether it be a real plant or a fake plant. It's just in really good condition and I like the color. So I'll probably keep this one. And then it came with four of these little Homer Laughlin like restaurant wear side dish bowls. Um, two of them have this marking, and then two of them just have the raised Homer Laughlin marking like that. So, um, I'll probably list these on eBay and see if I can make some of my money back, because I'm just not really interested in them. They would be cute holding, like, a candle. I see, like, a lot of primitive Instagram accounts put tall pillar candles and things like this, so it could be cute for that. And then the next piece is ironstone. It's a kind of like big platter. I think it's too big to be a plate, so I'm gonna say platter. It is by Harmony House, and it says ironstone right there. 
and it's really beautiful. It reminds me of Homer Laughlin. I have a few plates that have a similar design like this, so I'm undecided if I'm going to be keeping this one or not. I just, like I said earlier, I have no room, so if I can't find a way to style it in the next few seasons, I may list it online. And then this piece I think is super beautiful. It is made in France. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, but here is the maker stamp. And then I just think that the little handles here are so pretty. I did try looking this up, and only one thing came up. Um, it wasn't on eBay. It was a site I'm not familiar with. And they had it listed for $350, which is absolutely ridiculous. I don't think that's what it's worth at all, which is why it hasn't sold probably. But I'm going to keep it. I think it would look so pretty in the middle of a table with a ton of different pillar, white pillar candles um, lit. I think that looks so pretty. So that's probably what I'll do with this. And then the last piece in this lot, as well as this entire haul, is... I'm so happy I finally got one. This is the reason I bid on this lot. So like I said, if you think about it, I technically paid $3.75 for this. An ironstone pitcher, y'all. Finally, I've been hoping to find one for the longest time while thrifting or even at like an estate sale or something. And I finally came across one. I'm so happy I won the bid because with these being so popular right now, um, obviously for these online auctions, it's all dealers bidding on them. So you would think that someone would have outbid me but it is by Meller and Co and it has so much crazing right here so pretty and there's some more here sorry my lights kind of messing it up and then on the inside here it is amazing I don't know if you can tell how big it is but it's much bigger than I expected it to be um, so I'm gonna be on the hunt hopefully I can find a few more of different sizes um, I'd like to have it in a group of two or three, so cannot wait to style this for spring with some beautiful like lavender or something hanging out of it. So that is everything for this giant haul. I feel like I've been sitting here talking for hours. Um, if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content like this and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!